Hello, and welcome to this quick overview of TrackVIA roles and permissions. What is a role? Roles can be thought of as a container of permissions and preferences that align with a user's function within TrackVIA. For example, they determine what dashboards I see. What views do I have access to? What forms do we present when I choose to add a new record? Or what forms do I present when I edit an existing record? And do I have permissions to edit that record? To get started using roles, from the admin menu, select add a new role. As with all designers in TrackVIA, the right side contains a help panel explaining what is a role, some shortcuts to get around TrackVIA, links to our knowledge base, and an interactive tutorial on how to use this page. TrackVIA has two types of roles, a limited user role and an admin role. Roles are unique to individual apps, so just because I might be an admin in one app doesn't mean I'm an admin in all apps. There are three basic sections to building a role. What dashboards I want to see when a user logs in, what forms are used when creating new records on a table, and what views I have access to and which form should be used when drilling down into one of those views. Let's start by adding a dashboard. TrackVIA helps you understand whether a role has access to everything that you've put on a dashboard. In this case, I added the dashboard but forgot to add the included views. Simply click on this warning message and I can easily grant access to the individual components that are on that dashboard. In the case where there are multiple dashboards, I can drag and reorder these so when this user logs in, they'll see these dashboard as tabs across their home page in this order. Next, I can choose which forms I want my users to use when they're creating new records. And lastly, I can assign which views a user can see and which forms they'll use when they drill into a record. In addition to that, I can choose what level of record permissions they have once they open that form. For example, they can only read the records. The last thing is to assign the users to this role. To help avoid confusion, a user can only belong to one role for any given app. TrackVIA will display a warning message if you try to add a user to more than one role in a single app. If you want to change a user's role assignment, remove them from their current role first, then add them to the new role. We'll show you how to add new users to your account. Click on Manage Users, Add a User, and it's as simple as that. When you add a new user, an email is automatically sent to that new user, prompting them to create a password. It's recommended that you already have a role created prior to adding the user. That way you can quickly add that new user to that existing role, so when that user logs in, they have a positive experience. And that's just a quick overview on how to create and manage roles and permissions in TrackVIA. Always remember, help is just a click away.